Welcome to Sad TV News. I am Alicia George. In our top stories, multi-purpose identification cards not to be used in upcoming general elections. Ghana students permitted to study and practice law in the Caribbean. King Philippe V takes over in Spain. And in sports, New India Goodwill Runners capture DFA Dominic Women's Championship. Details of these will follow. Welcome back. Deputy Leader of the United Workers' Party, UWP, Claudia Sanford, made the statement in an interview with Start TV following a meeting with the Electoral Commission on Wednesday, June 18. The purpose of that meeting was to discuss the steps taken in the electoral process and whether or not it would have led to free and fair elections. But to the party's disappointment, the card would not be ready for use for the upcoming elections, perhaps not until the next two years. We understand that there is the machinery, there are some people getting registered. So when asked why, clearly the answer was we do not have the, the legal authority as is in our current law to ensure total registration of, the, of voters. Sanford added that his biggest disappointment was the inadequate reasoning why the card would not be used. The commission did agree, however, to begin a public education drive. Meanwhile, Joshua Francis, UWP candidate for the Rosso South constituency, said this should not just be a concern of the party, but a national concern. Ultimately, if we allow the electoral process to be contaminated, what we will have is a distorted electoral uh, result. We want to ensure that every person who wants to elect a government does so freely and fairly, so that it reflects his or her interest. Efforts to contact Jared Burton, chairman of the Electoral Commission, proved futile. However, Sat TV will bring you an update as soon as it becomes available. Shortly after 4 p.m. on Wednesday, June 18, the official cabinet of Antigua and Barbuda (ABLP) was installed after emerging victorious on June 12, 2014. ABLP won 14 out of 17 seats to secure their position at the recent general elections. Prime ministers from across the region, including Prime Minister Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, were expected to attend the ceremony. However, due to setbacks, Prime Minister Skerritt was unable to attend and sent his address through a recorded message. But for me, as Prime Minister of Dominica, Antigua and Barbuda is more so a crucial cornerstone of the Dominica diaspora. This country has been good to Dominica. It is home to thousands of Dominicans. Their interest is my interest. Their happiness is my happiness and therefore their celebration this past weekend is also a source of great joy to me as leader of the native land according to prime minister skerritt antigua and Barbuda, prime minister gaston brown is expected to serve at a crucial point in our region's development the task ahead is arduous our people are looking to us as leaders for inspiration and definitive action you have as a newly elected government to hit the road running. Time waits on no man. Our people are expecting strong, visionary leadership from us as leaders, and we dare not disappoint. He also urged the people of Antigua and Barbuda to embrace the current government and help pilot the social and economic state of the country. After months of inactivity following damage by inclement weather conditions, the Rotary Club's public convenience in the community of Meru is now fully operational. At the Hamlet, member of the Rotary Club said this facility is like no other, since they used a two-chamber filtration system which filters the wastewater before entering the sea. The uniqueness about this um, particular project is that it is called a wetland type project because over the, um, that area where we have the two chambers, uh, what uh, we expect here from the filtration process and the fact that all the bacteria has been removed it's able to support plant life and uh, the end the result really is that we have to really cultivate um, plants or put plants on top of the, um, the area and it would grow from the um, effluent or, or the filtration um, products so in a nutshell what we're seeking to do here is to ensure that whatever is discharged into the environment, into the sea, is as pure as drinking water. He said the project was completed in 2010. 
They continue to manage it as they have been unsuccessful in establishing a management structure with the Mayor Improvement Committee. Hamlet said it was because of the significance of this facility that they realized it was time to get it back operational. They replaced the pumps of the filtration system and built an elevated concrete sump intake to protect the system from the sea and sand. So we've got two pumps buried under there. Uh, so this is the difference that we've made here and um, we're just going to go ahead and um, re um, repaint the, the, the station itself. We've also done some renovation work inside, retrofitting some of the, fi the fixtures, um, toilet and bowls and urinals and that sort of stuff. And uh, we're hoping this time now to set up a structure uh, with the uh, Mayor Enhancement Committee and we're trying to get in the other stakeholders like the um, St. Joseph Village Council and um, the government to see whether we can um, put something in place for the sustainability of the project. So this is where we are at this point in time. We're just seeking to do the last phase of the restoration work, which is paint in the facility. The renovation project was a collaboration of the Rotary and the Rotaract Clubs of Dominica, while the paint for repainting the public convenience was donated by Harry Spence. Welcome back. Rain poured island-wide on Thursday, June 19th, as a result of a tropical wave that is currently affecting the region. This is according to a recent release by the Dominica Meteorological Service. In its weather outlook issued for Dominica and the Lesser Antilles, they advise that moisture and instability associated with the passage of a tropical wave is expected to produce an increase in cloudiness, scattered showers, and possible isolated thunderstorms across the region. This would last through the day and into Friday, June 20th. Moderate sea conditions are expected during the next 24 hours, with swells peaking near 7.0 feet. However, an increase up to 8.0 feet is expected by Friday. The release advises that small craft operators and sea bathers be vigilant. Although the Atlantic hurricane season officially runs from June 1st to November 30th, tropical systems have been known to form outside of these dates. The 2014 predictions are normal to below normal due to El Nino and cool sea surface temperatures with 8 to 13 named storms, three to six hurricanes, and one to two major hurricanes of category three or higher. On average, 12 tropical storms, six hurricanes, and two major hurricanes form during the hurricane season. Regardless of the seasonal outlook, it only takes one system to cause devastation, so residents must be in a state of readiness at all time and be prepared. The DBS reading competition continued on Thursday, June 18th at the Dominica Public Service Union building, where the St. Luke's primary represented by Jared Jean-Jacques emerged victorious with 172 points. I know your jiffies, said his aunt, more like five or six hours. Well, I shan't wait for lunch, so just hurry up. Here is the list of shops I've left my parcels at, and if they want you to pay for them, Give them the money and I'll pay you when you come back. Medal walked off. Pay for her parcels? I should think not. The Woodford Hill primarily in second place with 160 points, represented by Keela Alexander. Once Mr. Medal went out to a party at Mistress Penn's. The streets were very dark, for there were no street lights on. Medal took his torch with him. But, oh dear, what a nuisance. He had forgotten it was broken. Now I meant to get that mending this morning, said Middle. How foolish I am. I do hope I shall get safely to Mistress Penny. Third place was the Wesley Primary, represented by Monica Polidor with 146 points. He came to the gate before he expected and walked straight into it. Oh, what a bruise he would have on his knees tomorrow. Metal groaned and rubbed his knees. Then he stopped to the pavement and made his way slowly up the road. Fourth place went to the Petit Savant Primary with 136 points, represented by Jansen Hillier. He found the stairs and tumbled up them. He came to the top and tried to find the handle of his door. It didn't seem to be in the right place, place somehow. But at last, he did find a door handle, turned it, and went into the bedroom. 
And in fifth place with 134 points was the Christian Union primary represented by Michaela Dyer. He saw four knots and at the first he was so surprised that he quite forgot to sneeze. Dear, dear, dear me, said Mr. Dear me, look at those four knots, four things to remember. Whatever in the wide world did I have to remember? He sat and thought very hard. The next competition will take place on Friday, June 20th at the Dominica Public Service Union building from 2.15 p.m. This has been the local segment of the news. Coming up next, regional highlights.